Hello Internet Tubers, this is a quick video on how to draw a Kangawalla Fox, requested by the Almighty Aiden. First of all, let's get some construction lines down. So we start with the head, and we know that a Kangawalla Fox has a fox's like head, so we've just put a big nose in there and some whiskery things on the side and some big fox ears. And then we need some eyes, large, large eyes, so they can see in the dark and attack uh, their prey. Uh, then we, we go for the body, so we'll draw a big big body down the bottom, and we need some big kanga or wallaby legs, so we'll draw them in there, big feet, some toes, we need a big tail. Now one thing that uh, people actually don't know, uh, especially outside of Australia, is that the kanga wallaby fox has spines on the very end of their tail which helps them uh, catch their prey, which are usually uh, small small children, uh, lizards, insects, and cheeseburgers. So we draw some arms in here. We've got some sneaky, sneaky eyes of the kangawalla fox. We need a mouth with some sharp, small sharp teeth. And you can see here the kangawalla fox is feasting on one of their favorite uh, sources of food, the cheeseburger. Um, a lot of kangawalla foxes actually wear business ties to try and blend in with the um, the local Australian population. Kangawalla foxes also have a pouch in which they keep old pipes and plumbing supplies. Look, look, our synchronization is complete. It's very important to be synchronized. So let's go ahead and zoom right in, and we'll clean up the uh, the lines here for the kangawalla fox. Make him nice and pretty. Might use a thinner line actually. So we've got the eyes. Very important to be round. Kangawalla foxes have very round. Uh, they have sneaky, sneaky eyes. You can see the the sneakiness in them. They've got small uh, black noses that are quite shiny. And they have long snouts, big mouths with lots of sharp pointy teeth. They have giant ears like the their close cousin, the fox. A little bit of hair on top, the other ear. Now the sides of their faces are very uh, fluffy, not to be confused with cute though. We have the collar, the great camouflage, we have the hands, and they have uh, usually four fingers with small claws on the end. The business tie working to confuse and blend in with the population of Australia. The cheeseburger, the food of choice. We bring down the uh, back here with uh, the long, long tail. Whoops. The long tail with the spines, not to forget the spines. Very sharp. Some say they're poisonous. They can have up to six spines on their tail. And then we have the giant uh, legs, which they have inherited from the kangaroo and the wallaby. And the toes. And the large pouch, which is very important for keeping their old pipes and plumbing supplies. It's a little known fact that kangawalla foxes are brilliant plumbers. And in a pinch, if your toilet's not working, you can always hire a kangawalla fox. So there we have, zoom out a bit and we'll have a look. There's our kangawalla fox. Let's turn off the layer behind. And there we have a 
Kangawalla Fox with all of the well-known attributes of Kangawalla Foxes and some spots that they inherited from the Wallabies. Uh, but also the lesser known aspects of the Kangawalla Fox like their favourite food, what they keep in their pouch and uh, their dangerous, dangerous spiky spiky tail. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.